Hey everyone, me Kevin here. Yesterday I broke the news to you that the $1,000 of stimulus money, that $1,000 grant program is up and running again. And some of you who listened to that video yesterday literally already posted pictures in our Discord chat this morning that as of 6 a.m. you already got your $1,000 deposits. I thought that, look, the SBA said it was gonna take seven to 10 days. Some of y'all are like, uh, you know, the SBA, come on, it's gonna take three to four weeks. And that would be totally reasonable. But that's insanely fast that some of you who applied yesterday are already getting your $1,000 deposits. Now, in case you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, let me give you a little bit of clarity. Yesterday, and you can watch the video, I'll link it down below, but yesterday I broke a video that the SBA has reopened your ability to apply for a $1,000 grant per employee that you have. Now, if you're thinking, oh, I don't have any employees, hold on. If you have a side hustle, you're a 1099 contractor, or you're self-employed, you also qualify. Now, I'm gonna go through some different trades and frequently asked questions in this video, but I encourage you to watch that video where I break down what the program is. Lauren, by the way, also just posted a video walking you through the entire application. It's like a 20 minute long video and it literally goes step by step and answers a lot of the uh, sort of minor questions that come up during the application process. So I'll link that down below as well. But in this video, I wanna go through some frequently asked questions. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Oh, and quick reminder, this video is sponsored by an amazing life insurance company in the link down below and you can get two free stocks with the stock trading platform Webull if you deposit $100. You get two free stocks up to $1,400 if you deposit $100. This is first come, first serve. So you have to act fast. I know this sounds crazy, like a YouTuber is telling you go apply for free grant money. Like, I get it. I'd be jaded too. Just go to the sba.gov website and you can read about it yourself and then you'll put the pieces of the puzzle together. Now, I just wanna also be very, very clear. There are three things that you need to be aware of to understand this. There is the PPP. It's a Paycheck Protection Program loan. That is not what we are talking about. That is a forgivable loan. That is not what we are talking about. If you think PPP and this, uh-uh, mixed up. Uh-uh, PPP, no, not talking about the PPP. Then there is an EIDL loan and an EIDL grant. Those are two parts of the same thing. They're two branches of the same tree. You use the same form, the same form that we go through when you go to covid19relief.sba.gov. And if that's too complicated, just go to metkevin.com slash 1000. It'll redirect you to that. So type into your browser, metkevin.com slash 1000. It'll redirect you there. There are two branches. When you get to that website and you will fill out that application, it looks like you're applying for an emergency injury disaster loan. That's because you're using the tree to apply for both branches. The free $1,000 per employee, you got two employees, that's $2,000. It's just you, you don't have any employees, that's $1,000. And you do not have to accept the loan. So if you see any kind of pictures, like a lot of folks have been posting pictures that, that says, hey, it looks like uh, I got approved for uh, something like this. Take a look at this. If you got something like this and you are getting a quote that says you're eligible and you have to review and accept something, this is the loan. This is the 30 year loan. That could say 30 grand, that could say 150 grand, that could say 10 grand, it could say one grand. Do not be confused by this. If you review and accept this, this is a 30 year loan that you have to pay back. On the other hand, somebody else posted a comment. Oh, there we go. This is a comment somebody else posted. Look at that, June 16th, they got their $1,000 deposit already and they had said they just applied yesterday. Congratulations to them. And then somebody else mentioned uh, that uh, they applied yesterday and the SBA already emailed them and said, hey, would you mind unfreezing your credit? We have to run your Experian credit check and would you mind sending us your Schedule C? Now, for 90% of people who apply, uh, you don't actually have to send a Schedule C. Like, most people who apply, the money just all, all of a sudden shows up in their account. But if there are any issues with your application uh, or, or any problems the SBA is having, realize the, the SBA is going to try to help you. And as much as that sounds crazy, like, well, the government's gonna come help me, really? Like, I, I, I totally agree with you. You're right to be jaded. Just think of this as like, if I get it, great. If I don't, okay, I didn't really lose anything but more than like, what, 20 minutes trying to do this, right? I have a feeling uh, a lot of you, if you do this early, you're going to have more luck 
than not. Like, this isn't playing roulette. I feel like this is like, this would be like playing roulette and somebody saying, hey, if you put your money on black, you have a 90% chance of winning and you have a 10% chance of losing. That's the way I would go into this. So I'd still have some jadedness, yes, but I would go into this optimistically. Now, let's do some FAQ. What do you do if you're DoorDash, Uber, Lyft? As long as you were in business prior to January 31st, you can apply. You have to have legitimately paid taxes on your side hustle or have been self-employed in some form to have a business prior to January 31st. That means on your 2019 tax return, you had to show some income from your business. And again, you do not have to have a business name or anything. So when you go put out or fill in the application, which watch Lauren's video breaking down how to go through the application. But when you go through the application, it's very important that you put your name. Don't put the 1099 company that you do work for. If you get paid a 1099 and you work for Remax or you work for Uber or you work for Lyft, don't put their information in. Do not put their EIN in. Do not put their name in. Do not put their address in. If you get paid a 1099, you are an independent contractor. You are your own boss. If you receive a 1099, you are the definition of quote, not an employee. 1099 literally means not an employee. It means you're an independent contractor. You're your own business entity. You pay self-employment, self-employed taxes basically, and you go work for another business, but you also have the right to go work for another business. It's kind of like when you drive Uber, you could also drive for Lyft. Right? Like you're not exclusive because you're not an employee, you're 1099. It's kind of like, uh, you know, and this is where things can get a little confusing, right? Because it's like, well, but you know, if I'm a real estate agent, I'm a 1099 contractor, but I am kind of exclusive because I hang my license somewhere. And this is true. This is where things get complicated. But let me just be clear with you. If you're a real estate agent, you're a 1099 contractor, you get a 1099, forget the exclusivity part. You should still apply for this. You are your own employee. All right. Let's keep moving on with some more FAQ here. So here's the thing. Uh, you don't want to put Grubhub's EIN on the form. I went through all of your comments and all your messages in, in Discord. So I'm going to keep putting these things out. You put your own name in. Your trade name is your business. So if you don't have a trade name, just put your name. I'm Lauren Paffrath, the realtor or property manager. Then put Lauren Paffrath in there. Put your social in there. When you put your social in, realize you can't apply for this program multiple times. If you've already gotten your $1,000, it's tied to your social. You're not going to get it again. As a self-employed person, you are the person you're applying for, and that's why you are the trade name. Now, take a look at Gladys's comment here. I applied when it was open to agricultural farmers, because remember I did that video and I'm kind of like, hint, hint, like you're gonna get denied, but you may as well apply and maybe you'll be in line before everybody else. And she says, I was immediately denied. That's fine, you got an email that your application isn't being processed. Then she got another email on Sunday asking me to verify my bank account info and I received the $1,000 in my account this morning, great. So congratulations, Gladys. Uh, that's that's really awesome. <laughs> like this is, I'm so happy to hear that you folks are receiving this money. Really, this is the time where we really need this kind of help. And so I'm happy for this. It sucks that people who are, you know, W2 employees aren't, aren't receiving any of this, but uh, hey, you, you gotta take what you can get and what you can qualify for. So. Now, somebody commented that they flip high-end watches and uh, that, that they're not telling the government that they make any profit. Yeah, I wouldn't apply for government aid if you're not paying your taxes. I would highly encourage that you only apply if you actually pay your taxes and you should pay your taxes. Now, somebody uh, mentioned that uh, they, they submitted a loan and it's processing and they haven't received the money yet. Should they apply again? Probably not. I, I would only apply again if you made a mistake. So it, it, keep in mind, when you put your social in, all of the times you apply get kind of funneled into one folder at the SBA, you can think of it as. So you're, it's not the end of the world if you reapply, but it does make things more confusing for the people at the SBA, so it's better if you don't reapply. And uh, keep in mind, you have to have checked that box that says, I'm requesting a $10,000 advance. If you didn't check that box, you're not gonna get that $1,000 advance because it's up to $10,000 and they're dishing this out in the form of $1,000 per employee that you self-certify on that form that you have. Oh, by the way, somebody asked if they should apply if they're under 18 and I don't know because technically you can't enter into a contract when you're under 18, you can't really get a loan, uh, which you're kind of applying for this loan even though you only want the non-repayable grant. Like you don't have to pay the grant money back. I guess what I would say is apply because when in doubt, just apply. And you'll put your birthday in and they'll tell you like, hey, sorry, you're too young or, or you'll just see the money show up, right? So give it a shot. Now remember, if you're 1099, the business name is your name, not 
your boss's or company's name. Your 1099, you are your boss. Now, I believe you don't actually need a business email. You don't actually need a trade name. That could be your name. And I believe you don't need a business account, but the name has to match what you put as your business name. So if you put as your business name, you know, Joe's Crab Shack, but then your business account name is Joe Pafrath, that, that's, a, that's a mismatch, right? If you put Joe's Crab Shack as the business name, your business account, you should have a business account that says Joe's Crab Shack. If your name is Joe Pafrath, then your business, your, your account, whether it's a business or personal, should sh say Joe Pafrath. So the name should match. That's the goal, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I would apply making sure that those match. What if you've already got your money, but your spouse didn't apply? If she has a side hustle, then she should apply. So what if you're airbrushing on weekends and, uh, well, the question is, do you make income and did you pay taxes on that income last year? Apply. What if you, uh, you know, you, let's see, you make websites for local businesses. You don't have an S corp though. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter if you have an S corporation or an LLC, you apply as an independent contractor then. And you have, there's a little box you can click for that. Now, what if you're on the PPP? Well, you can't use the money, the grant money, I believe, or the uh, definitely not the loan portion, if you take the loan, uh, for the same stuff that you use the PPP money for. So as long as you allocate the money separately, it's okay. Like, be careful, because the PPP, that's where it gets a little complicated. You don't want to spend that $1,000 on payroll and then use the, pay pay, uh, the Paycheck Protection Program money on the same money you're kind of double dipping there, that's dangerous. Don't do that. So make sure you're separately allocating here. What about unemployment insurance? Do you have to report this? Well, if you spend the grant money or the loan money on working capital, I believe the answer here is no. You do not report it to unemployment insurance because it's not income. But if you don't spend the stuff, the money that you get on working capital for your business, and instead you just pay yourself extra money, well, yeah, that should be reported to the unemployment insurance department. Now, uh, what about turnaround time? Again, we're, the SBA says seven to 10 days. I say two to three weeks, yet some people got it within 24 hours. Okay, that's um, insane. Apparently, you do have to live in the United States to qualify for this. Not 100% sure on this, but when in doubt, apply, right? If your business is not registered, right? You actually, you haven't like formalized your business. So what? You're still a business. It doesn't say you have to have a formal entity. So apply. Like somebody wrote that they clean offices on weekend. It sounds like a side hustle to me. It sounds like you have your own business. You have to find your own clients. Go apply. Do, and again, the rule is when in doubt, apply. So what else do we have here? Uh, if, if you still have your application dangling from March, when it first, you know, opened up, I, I'd probably reapply at that point. Now, uh, all right, let's see here. If you got offered a loan, but didn't get a deposit, uh, it, it's possible that you didn't check the box for the advance, in which case it might make sense to reapply. So if you got a loan offer, but you don't see a deposit and you don't see any indications of the deposit coming, maybe email them and ask them like, hey, can I, can I get my $1,000 advance? Ask them. What about Airbnb? Sounds like a side hustle to me. Are they going to pull your credit? Yes. Is it possible that they can deny you because of your credit? Yes. I don't know what the what the score requirement is, although I hear people with like a 570 are getting approved for this. You may have to unfreeze your credit. Yes. Uh, yeah, let's see what else we have here. Uh, oh, somebody wrote, you know, oh, well, there ain't no such thing as a free lunch. Well, you know, I get that jade and I put, you, you know, I would say be 10% jaded, but keep in mind you pay taxes, folks. This is stimulus money. Take it or leave it. What if you're a musician? If you make money, go apply. What if you're an LLC with a partner and you don't pay yourself? Does the business make money? If so, apply. What if you're a paparazzi? Apply. What about a 1099 jeweler consultant? Apply. <laughs> Do you need a business bank account? Maybe. Oh, remember my rule, match the names. Should you take the money to pay off a credit card? If it, maybe, That's, that gets blurry because you're not supposed to use this money to pay off debt, uh, at least not the loan money. Uh, the grant money, maybe if it's a business credit card, but really, I, I, I don't know. I'd be careful on that. Uh, and then keep in mind, this is not a second round. So if you've already applied, this is not a second round. This is a reopening of the first round. You don't get another thousand dollars. Okay, if you like this, get two free stocks with Weeble, link below. Get life insurance, link down below. Join me in my program, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate your support and folks, we will see you next time. And if you sign up for Weeble, make sure you deposit a hundred dollars because then you'll get your second free stocks. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time.